As you recall in the last training video, we went over the document properties, which contains personal information about the document, things that's proprietary to you. For example, when you go backstage file, info selected by default, and you come over here, you can see the title that I put in for the document is my spiffy P, and then the searchable keywords, which are known as tags here, is like zoinks, so the document can be found when I search for zoinks. And then down below, the author, well, let me scroll down and show all properties. We also have the company name, and then under properties to advanced, on the custom tab, it was checked by me, and yes, I did check it. So when I hand this document off to somebody else, if I don't want my personal information to go with it, how I handled the document backstage here in the properties, I could go ahead and select and delete and then come over here and clear out this by clicking in there and deleting it. But if you got a lot of information, more than just one that's filled out, then you may want to use the document inspector because it can go ahead and inspect your document for personal information like that and remove all that in a single click. You want to see? Alrighty. On the same tab where it says inspect document, you can go ahead and check for issues. And right there, check the document for hidden properties or personal information. So not just personal information, but hidden properties. What kind of hidden properties? Go ahead and click on it, and it will tell you everything it's going to be checking for. Like it'll inspect the document for comments, versions, revision marks, and ink annotations. So if you inserted a bunch of comments and ink annotations that you don't want to go with the document when you hand it off to somebody else because that's just your markups and comments, well, go ahead and inspect it so it can find it. When it finds it, you get the option to remove it as well as what we're just talking about now, document properties and personal information, task pane add-ins, embedded documents, macros, forms, and ActiveX controls, collapse headings. Whew, it just goes on, doesn't it? And also invisible content and hidden text, as we went over in an earlier training video. So if you want to go ahead and clear all that out in a GIF, click on Inspect. And if it finds anything, like comments, revisions, versions, annotations, then it'll have remove and it didn't find any so I don't have remove but it did find some personal information and document properties like well the author and properties that I've customized over here in the property section like the title let's see anything else no that's it pretty clean so if I want to go ahead and remove all this before I send it off to somebody else let's see what happens when I click on remove all well, that's it let's go ahead and close and then if it doesn't refresh here, you may want to go ahead and click back, save your work, close out of here. You shouldn't have to save it, it should clear it out. And then let's go ahead and open up the document here, double click. Then go back stage file, and well, I don't see the title. Let's do show all properties. I don't see the company name. Scroll down, I don't see any authors. Okay, getting a little excited here. Properties to advanced properties, custom. I'm not there. Oh, I've been cleared of all accusations of tampering with this document or my personal information and things that I've tweaked or customized within the properties here. Cool. Now I can go ahead and forward this on to somebody else. And when they go through this and they check out the properties, if there's some sort of questions about the document, well, since I'm not tied to it, they don't know who to go to. And that could be good or bad. But if you want to leave it, then don't click on remove all. You'll have to go in individually and delete those things that you don't want to pass on instead of using the remove all. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.